The Bible actually has a lot to say about angels, far more than just the Christmas story. And great, we confess, is the mystery, the hidden truth of godliness. He, Jesus Christ, who was revealed in human flesh, was justified and vindicated in the Spirit, seen by angels, preached among the nations, believed on in the world, taken up in glory. In this verse, which summarizes the important moments in the life of Christ, it lists that he was seen by angels. He, Jesus, was in the wilderness 40 days being tempted to do evil by Satan. And he, Jesus, was with the wild animals, and the angels ministered continually to him. This would certainly indicate that God places great value on the role angels play in his overall plan. Angels play a major role in the management and maintenance of God's kingdom. They are like worker bees who live only to serve the Lord, doing whatever he asks of them. Someday we will probably be friends with and work alongside angels as we enjoy eternity. So, we might as well become comfortable with the reality that angels are at work around us. Part of the beauty and charm of angels is that they would not want us to honor them, but would rather we only focus on the God whom they serve. This also emphasizes the fact that we should never pray to angels, but always only to God alone. In the book of Revelations, the Apostle John tells us what happened when he saw an angel. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things, and when I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. But he said to me, Do not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers, the prophets, and with all those who heed and remember the truths contained in the words of this book, the Bible. Worship God. Angels are humble creatures who help God touch humanity. In the year that King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, saw the Lord sitting on a very high throne. His long robe filled the temple. Heavenly creatures of fire, seraphim, angels, stood above him. Each creature had six wings. It used two wings to cover its face as a shield from God's awesome glory, two wings to cover its feet or body, indicating humility, and two wings for flying. Each creature was calling to the others, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord all-powerful, almighty. His glory fills the whole earth. Isaiah said, Oh no, woe to me. I will be destroyed. I am not pure. A man with unclean lips, that is, spiritually unworthy. And I live among people who are not pure. But I have seen the King, the Lord All-Powerful. One of the heavenly creatures flew to me with a hot coal in his hand. He had taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The creature touched my mouth with the hot coal and said, Look, your guilt is taken away, because this hot coal has touched your lips. Your sin is taken away, forgiven.